on a pretty big problem today. This is exercise 6.16 most common names. So we want to write a method named most common names and it's going to accept a parameter of type scammer, scanner. So we'll do a public, uh, we'll call it static. It doesn't have to be static necessarily. Um, we'll just make this a int because that's the return type it's called most common names and it is accepting a scanner as parameter. So we'll just call it file and then we're going to be inside of here. So that's how that's going to look. Um, each line contains a set of first names separated by spaces. So this is an example of it right here. Our method should print the name that occurs the most frequent in each line of our file. The method should also return the total number of unique names we see in the file. So that's going to be the int. We're just going to count that and then return it at the end. We're going to assume that no name appears on more than one line of the file. Each line should be considered separately. So that's also makes it a little bit easier for us. Um, and then we just have describing an example right here of how we would code this. So you can read over that really quickly. But we're going to get into coding this right here. So to start this off, we know that we're going to want to return the unique number, the most number of names that we have in here. So I'm going to make a few variables right here. We're going to have our unique, and we're going to set that to zero. I'm also going to have this count. I'm going to set it to one, and then I'm going to have a total set equal to one. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this, I should probably explain this before I write this out, but the reason why we are having these right here is because we want to this could be like our total and this could be like the or this could be count and this could be like previous count because what we're going to do is compare the count to the total right because let's say we are at eric right here well we're going to have our count be two and then we go to marty marty is not eric so we'll make the total be two it'll store that and then we'll reset count now count is going to be one again because marty is just one and then it's just going to go over Marty because it's just one. But when we come to Kim, we see we have three here. So Kim is going to have a count of three, which is greater than our total. And that means that Kim is our new highest. So our total is going to be three. And we are going to kind of print out the most common name of Kim. So this is what we should be printing out here. So that's the logic behind that. In the end, we are going to want to return our unique when we're done with all of this. So that's just another thing to note. We're going to have a place to store the most common name. We're going to do this in a string. So we'll do string most common name and we're just going to set it equal to nothing right now. Next we are going to have a while loop to iterate and read through each line. So one of the ways that we can go through a scanner is using a while loop. While our file dot has a next line, we're going to be inside of here. That's exactly what we're going to do. This is basically just going to check whether or not we have a next line. If we do, we are going to be inside of here. So when we run this the first time, let's we're gonna hit Benson, right? So this is our first unique. We're going to do unique plus plus right here. So that's how this would work. I did not be, was I was not able to code this on the first try. By the way, uh, I use IntelliJ and I use their debugger to help me out with this. So some of the things here might be a little bit. It might seem a little bit easy, but it is pretty tricky. So we have this unique plus plus. Um, that's just going to increment for our Benson. That's our first unique name, right? And then after this, we want to get the current line from our file so that we can examine it right we know that we're always going to have at least one thing here that's why we have this unique plus plus if we wanted to we could put this under the getting the current line from our file but getting our current line from this file we're going to use a scanner notice how this is a scanner right it scans a file that has all of this now we want a scanner that's going to read in one line at a time so we're going to say getting the current line from file and then inside of here we'll have a scanner we'll call it line we're going to set equal to a new scanner while we take the file dot next line and then we end this 
So we're getting the next line and we are storing it inside of our line just like that. Now after we do this, we are going to want the first name and the starting most common name. So we're going to store the most common name. We are going to uh, make this the very first thing that's passed in, right? So again, this is making the first name the starting most common name. So this is how we are going to start it right here. Every single time we get a new line, the first name, Benson, Stuart, or Jared, is going to be our most common name, just, just starting out, in case we only have one name. So we'll do most common name is equal to line dot next. And that's going to give us this name. Now, we are going to move on from this, and we're also going to look at the prev name, or the previous name, so that we can compare it to the most common name. Um, if we, or not the most common name, we're gonna need another variable to compare it with. Because remember, most common name is gonna store whatever most common name is. Until we have a new most common name, we're not gonna update this. But we are going to need two more variables. One, we are gonna define here, and then one we're gonna define in our next while loop. This while loop right here reads the entire line. We're gonna need another while loop to go through every single name in this file. So again, we need another variable, but this is gonna come afterwards. That's, I think, the order I coded it in, just to make sense for me. So we have a while loop right here, and this is to iterate through the names in each line. So we can actually put that in comments up here. Iterate through names in each line. So in this while loop, we're gonna run it while our line dot has next. Notice we're not doing has next line, we're just doing has next. And then we're going to be inside of here. Now, we want to get the current value, right? So we're going to do string, and we'll just call this uh, compare. Or we can just call this name. And we'll see why I'm calling it name in a second. We're going to say equal to line dot next. So we get this next line right here. Or we, yeah, we get the next thing, the very next thing. And remember, this is not going to be the very first name. It's going to be the second name because the most common name currently stores this. But it's only the most common name by default. Like what if what if we're down here, right? Or what if we are we're down at Paul, right? We're going to compare this name to our most common name. Well, if our most common name is Kim, we're not comparing it to the previous name, right? So what we're going to want to do is make this variable here. I'll do a string, and we could have also declared it up here as well. Uh, this might be easier. Let's just do that to stay consistent. We'll do string, and we will do prev name. So this is the previous name, and we're just going to set it equal to nothing right here. And then inside of here, we're going to set our prev name equal to the most common name. The reason why I wanted to declare it inside of here is because typically it's better to store variables where you actually need them and not just more globally. So, but this is okay for now, just so we can understand everything and then we can always go up on our own time and clean up the code later. So we have this right here. Again, we're gonna compare these two together. That's our next step. So this is our comparison. If compare, so the compare is actually the name I have it um, coded out in my IntelliJ and I'm looking at it just so I can explain everything nicely with all my notes. So if name dot equals, this is a function that we're going to call from the string class, we're going to see if this equals to the prev name or the previous name basically. We're comparing the name, which is like Eric, to our previous name, which is Benson. So we are comparing this inside of this if statement. After we do this, and they are equal, because remember, we're only going to be in this if statement if they're equal. If not, we're not going to be in the statement. But if they are equal, we are going to set, or we're going to increment our count, right? Because this means that we have another name that's equal. So we'll just do it on the same line as well. We'll do count plus plus. So this is for our if statement. Now what happens if they're not equal? 
Well, if they're not equal, we're going to fall into this else statement. And there is another condition that we're going to have to check. In this else statement, um, I have if the current count is greater than our current total, because remember I explained that total is like the total number of names. Like let's say we have this Kim right here, right? It's three. So our total is three. And we go down the line and then we have like Nancy. Nancy is one, or Nancy is three also, right? Because there's three Nancy's here. Well, we can see the most common is Kim. So our count should be greater than for it to override, right? Like Paul doesn't override Kim because it's less than, it has to be greater than. So else inside of here, we're gonna say if our count is greater than our total, we're going to readjust, we're gonna reassign some things. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna to want to make a new total. Our new total is going to be our count, obviously. And we also have to change the most common name. So we're gonna set the most common name equal to the prev name. And that's going to get the previous name that we were looking at. Because remember, if we're at Nancy and then, or if we're at Kim, right? And then our current name is Jenny. Well, we don't want to set it to Jenny. That's why we're not doing the name and we're doing the prev name. And the, that's if they're not equal to each other. So they fall into this else statement. So we have this prev name here. And then we can close off this if statement. And then we are going to have a count equal to one. And the reason why we have a count equal to one is because we want to reset it after this, right? If we go down here in this else statement, we have obviously seen that they're not equal to each other. So we're going to reset our count. This count is still in this else statement. We haven't closed this off yet. It's only just not in this if statement. So count is equal to one. And now we have crossed uh, something new if we are in this if statement, right? Because they're not equal to each other. So we'll increment our unique inside of here. And then we're going to close this off like this. So once we're done with this, there's a few things that we're going to note. The first is that we are going to want to reset our previous name. Because remember, once we do this little section right here, we're comparing this name to this name. Well, our new name, once we go through this right here, is going to be this right here. So we have to upgrade our previous name. And that's super easy. We just need to set it to our current name. So we'll do prev name is equal to our current name. And I could have put current name just to be more precise with our prev and name. So prev name is just going to be equal to our name. And that's going to be it for this while loop right here. We've gone through everything. Now, if we run this, we're going to come out with a problem. The first is after we go through this, right? We, we go through this entire thing. Well, what if we're at the end and we have no next, right? Line has no next. And what if we don't go into this else, right? Because if we don't have anything, we're not gonna execute in here. Well, we can have an if statement down here that takes care of that. We can have an if statement where we compare the count greater than total, and then we set the most common name to the previous name. And I believe that's what would fix it, and I have this in my notes as well. And I think there's another way we can do this, but we'll, we'll come back to this in a second. So this is our first possible fix. If the count is greater than total, we're going to set our most common name equal to the prev name. Out here, we don't have to worry about the total uh, equaling the count right now. And then once we're inside of here, we are going to, we can reset our count to be one and our total to be one. And the reason why we want to reset these is because, well, we've, we're completely done with this right here. Uh, it looks like, I think, if we fall into this else statement, we should have this count equal to 1. But if we finish in like the last name, we see Jessica as the max right here. It's not going to fall into this else statement. So our count's going to be, it's going to continuously have be incremented. So we're basically going to have garbage numbers inside of here. We want to reset this. 
So after we do this if statement, we'll set our count equal to one and we'll set our total equal to one as well. We're resetting everything. So when we go back into this while loop and we run through this entire thing again, we're starting fresh, just completely fresh right here. So that's how this is going to look. Now, after we do this, we know we've gone through a line. So we want to print out one of these. So we're going to do a system.out.println where we have the most common. We don't want to cheat and just put the name Kim. We are going to append the most common name because that's what we wanted. So we're appending our most common name. We're going to parenthesize. We're going to close this off. We're done with our while loop. We can then return and we can close our method. So let's submit and see if we made any mistakes. And the first is that I forgot a semicolon. So that's the first mistake. So we can see if we have any more. Can't find the symbol most common. Um, I believe this should be most common name. So we'll do most common name here. And that's because we're going to want to set the most common name to the previous name. And we passed two out of two tests. So that looks pretty good. Um, one thing I can think of that could make this a little bit better is that I said this runs while we have a next line, right? Well, with this if statement is a little repetitive because we already have it in here, right? So we can try doing this. What if we take this out, I'm just cutting it, and we have a do while we end this, and then we can comment this out and try to run it. So we haven't passed the test. Um, it looks like there's an issue with the Jessica and the Stuart thing. So, and this is no tokens remain in earput near line one. And I guess that's because it's going to run past this. So this little if statement down here, this little repetitive if statement is necessary. It is important for us to pass the two tests. Um, but that's it for this code. If you look into the IntelliJ, you can go over the debugger. If you want to understand everything that's going on, this is a lot better. You just want to make a new project. You just paste this in, you paste, put in some junk information right here. So this is like the uh, test one I did right here, the scanner right here. We're passing it into temp and we're, we're, we're just printing this out right here. And then you can go into the debug, make sure you just put a breakpoint. I'll have a whole video on this. You can just link it, look it on the channel. It'll be like debugging in IntelliJ. You can look at that to figure out how to do that. But stepping through the code really explains everything if you didn't get it here. Or you could just rewatch the video. And hopefully that helps. So that's practice exercise 6.16 most common names.